Ok, guys, I'm here today with Mike Musumessi, huge honor for me. Guys, today Mike is going to show us here how to get underneath a bigger and stronger opponent. So he's competing a lot of open class lately, and he's always doing like very well. And uh, I think he's probably like one of the toughest guys to fight against because it's really, really hard to pass his guard, and he's very flexible, and he's winning everything. And uh, I think one of the biggest challenges is always to get underneath the very yeah. heavy opponent, right, Mike? So I'm excited to learn. Okay. Let's do this. So uh, what I'm gonna show you guys today is a way that I like to get to my opponent's legs when they're on their knees. Okay. And basically, with bigger people, our goal is if they could stay on their outside, they could start throwing our legs. They could start getting us to half guard. It could be very dangerous, right? So the first thing you have to think about when you're going with a bigger opponent is your frames. You need to be framing the person so much because the second you lose frames with a big guy you're gonna be in a very compromised position, okay? So when I'm playing open guard, just in general, with a bigger opponent, he's on his knees, I'm just gonna be playing, oh, let's just face this way for this. I'm just gonna be playing here, playing with double sleeves, keeping frames on his body, okay? If I lose my frames at any moment, he's gonna put pressure on me, and then his weight will be very hard for me to deal with. But if I can leave my frames on his body, him putting weight on me will actually make himself tired because he's leaning onto my body and his weight will work against him, okay? So when we're ready to attack, what we're going to do is this. I make this series that these two different leg positionings are gonna be in this series and I make them a part of the same thing because where I arrive is almost the same and our goal is the same with both, okay? So one of them is going to be doing a leg hook, which my hand will underhook his leg like so and then I will be pushing his body up, putting his knee on top of my shoulder like so, you see? Once I'm able to get his knee on top of my shoulder, I'll be able to lift his leg. But if you can come back. So there's three different feet placement my opponent could give me when he's here. One is going to be a live foot, one is going to be a dead foot, and one is a side foot, okay? When my opponent, it's very important I understand this because for me to lift up his leg, the, the position is going to be a little different with his feet placement on me, okay? If he's in a live foot, his weight's going to be on his knee. What does that mean? That means that this part of his leg is going to be light to lift up. If he's in a dead foot, now his weight is on his butt. This part of his leg will be light to lift up. My objective is to place his knee on top of my shoulder because it's a wedge. I'm using my body as a wedge that he cannot place his knee back on the floor. So when I'm in leg hook here, and I get to this spot, and I lift up his leg, onto my shoulder here, now it will be very hard for him to put his leg down because I'm wedging his knee on top of my body, you see? So the whole fight becomes how to take his knee off the floor. So we can go to this side. When I'm here, and I'm on this side here, look how his foot is dead this time. When his foot is dead, what I'm going to do is, because I know his foot's dead, if you can just sit back, like uh, down, like here. Because I know his foot is dead, that means I'm gonna be able to take his knee off the floor, look, because his weight's back here. Now go live, please. When his foot is, uh, like switch your foot oh, to live. Okay. Uh, on your toes, like, uh, yeah, like this. Now when his foot is live, look how this part of his foot's light. So now I can go like this and lift his knee on top of me, like so. Once I arrive here, he will not be able to put his foot down. Look what I can do. I like to lift his toe up like this. Now I wedge his whole leg off of the floor. Now I can pull his leg to my body, pull his leg to my body. Look where I end up into my foot lock position, into Kiss of the Dragon, into Matrix. I have so many options once There's, I arrive in that spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's one of my favorite ways to even attack the footlock is from this leg hug position, okay? And again, knee shield is almost identical. When I go knee shield and I'm here, how I do it now is I feel like leg hug is hard, he's closing his legs, I put my leg inside his legs and I hook. But if I bring my knee down like so, he can put weight on me and pressure past me. And it's horrifying, especially because Bernardo Fury is on top. <laughs> so what I'm here, what I have to do is I have to hook his shoulder like so. Now when he tries to put weight on me, I'm framing his shoulder, right? I'm using my knee constantly to frame him over here, protecting my head. So if he starts going to my head, I could tilt him and make his arm post, you see? So what am I going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a collar grip on the cross collar. Once I feel like I have a frame here, and now I'm going to make a pillow grip with my knee under my hand like so. Once I do this, put weight on me. It's very hard because my knee is supporting my hand. So it helps me keep pressure on him. And now I'm just gonna control his knee now. 
on this part of his life. Look. So the second I do this, look what I, look what I can do. I can pull his body this direction. I can scoop my knee under his leg like so and place my foot on his hip. Now, look how his knee is wedged onto my body. Now I can underhook his leg, removing his leg completely. And now I can place my foot on his hip again. Look where I end up. In the same spot as before. The foot lock. 50-50. Kiss of the dragon. So many different leg positions from this spot. Man, that's amazing. So, Mike, pretty much all you try to do is to find a way that my leg doesn't stay very heavy. And then the entire series starts from there. Basically, what I'm doing is, if you watch my collar sleeve system, my whole goal in collar sleeve system is to remove his elbow from his body. The only way my opponent could defend all of this stuff is putting their weight on their legs and closing their body like so. The second their weight's on their legs is when I'm doing leg hug and knee shield because I'm, now I'm on their legs. It's the same thing as guard. If I'm playing guard on you, if you could stand up, please. Uh, if I'm playing guard on you and his weight is on his legs here, I'm not gonna play on the upper body now because he's using his legs against me. You see how it's very hard because he's posturing. Yeah, well, so now I'm gonna play on the legs. If yeah. he brings his upper body forward, and he's here, now I'm gonna play on the upper body. Good. They work directly correlated because the second I start attacking the upper body like an omoplata, he defends the omoplata in submission, giving me his leg. Good. You see? So that's how I'm playing knee shield and leg hug. I play it when I go for an omoplata, when I go for a submission on the upper body, he defends, he gives me his legs. So if I'm here and I'm in collar sleeve with a big guy or anyone, I start attacking an omoplata, close your elbow and defend. Ooh. Now look, now I can start going here, knee shield, here. Man, that's amazing. You see how your body instantly, yep. that's the correct time to do this. The problem is in jiu-jitsu, you'll see everyone playing the wrong type of guard for the wrong reaction. So you'll see someone that's on their upper body, like their weight forward on their arms, and they'll try to go to the legs. This is when you're gonna get smashed because I'm playing on his legs when he's using his upper body. When I should be playing on his upper body here. The second I go here, he defends. Now look. That's the time, man. So you're, you're, so you're always like, Mixing up upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. Upper you have to combine both. I got it. That's the perfect way to play guard. If you're playing guard with both things at the same time, you'll be able to attack everyone. And then another concept you're doing in guard, you're not just attacking a sweep. You're not just attacking a submission. You're not just attacking the back. You're attacking all three at once. Because when they defend one, they give you the other. So the perfect way to sweep someone isn't actually to sweep them. The perfect way to sweep someone is attacking their back or a submission. Then when they defend that, they give you the sweep. They give you the sweep, right? Amazing. Yeah, no, that's amazing. So guys, uh, Mike just showed an entire structure all about the knee shields and the leg hug and how to get underneath. And uh, it's gonna be at bgfanatics.com. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, Thank Mike. So much. That was awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.